The subject of the painting is basically Padmasambhava, but in his form as Dorje Drolo. Dorje Drolo is one of the eight forms or eight manifestations of Padmasambhava, <clears throat> really coming out of the Nyangral, Nyangral Nima Oser and Guru Chowang traditions. Um, but this painting and this composition is very unusual, or the iconographic form is unusual. The Usually, Dorje Drolo has some form of garments and uh, uh, attiring his body, and then he, he also has uh, typically three eyes. But in this iconographic composition, we, we have Dorje Drolo is naked, and he has these yellow eyes all over his body, and he's ithyphallic as well. Uh, he has a crown of five dry skulls, and then he has bone ornaments, um, a choker, uh, a necklace, uh, armlets, um, bracelets, and anklets, and then a, a, a garland of what, what should normally be 50 freshly severed heads. Um, he, he's wrathful in appearance, surrounded by flames, and he noticeably he bites down on the lower lip with his upper teeth. In his upraised right hand, he holds a, a gold uh, vajra with the tines, or the uh, the tines are, are open, or the prongs are open, as opposed to closed and touching the central prong. And the left hand is outstretched, holding a, a black or blue-black a meteorite uh, kila or peg. Uh, he stands atop a tiger, uh, and then he, the tiger itself, is standing on two corpses. So this is very unusual. I've really only found one other uh, depiction of this uh, naked Dorje Drolo with the eyes, and it comes out of a Tsikdun uh, terma. But there are many Tsikdun termas, and no, I have not spent any time uh, tracking it down because the only ones I've found are this particular painting and then, a, and then a, an initiation card, and that is it. But this is a highly unusual uh, painting because it's clearly done in, um, in an Eastern Tibetan style uh, with a lot of borrowings from uh, uh, China, uh, namely the, the rocks at the lower right, the birds, um, the, the rocks and the flowers and birds on the lower left side. Um, also the use of negative space in the, in the upper left side for the sky and then uh, the clouds in the upper right are just very slightly tinged with some yellow and uh, and pink and greenish um, uh, color uh, but otherwise uh, unadorned and uh, and basically the, it's just it's just the real quality to it is just the drawing and the shape and the form of the clouds uh, the flames are are orange and tipped with red, uh, but the behind the flames, a darker pigment has been put in to allow the flames to jump out a little bit more and to be more pronounced. Um, we have greenish clouds uh, surrounding the lower part of Dorji Trollo and behind the tiger and uh, sort of uh, framing uh, the, the whole image of Dor Dorji Trollo as, as being somewhat ethereal and floating in space. Highly unusual. Um, if this is part of a set, we have uh, not found any of the other paintings. There, there should be uh, the seven other manifestations and then a central painting. So there should be eight more paintings that, that would be done in this style. Now it's possible that this painting only relates to the Terma tradition it came out of, and there might be some other figures belonging to the painting set, but they may not necessarily be forms of uh, the eight 
forms that we normally recognize as the manifestations of Padmasambhava. So, so it's really not clear at this point because we've not truly identified the Tibetan text. We have not read the text uh, once identified. We have not um, really read the, the iconographic descriptions of this form of Dorje Drolo or other figures that relate to it. So it's a bit of a mystery at this time, although it's a very beautiful painting. Definitely coming out of eastern Tibet, if I was to hazard a guess, I would say it's related more to Palpung Monastery of, of uh, Situ Rinpoche um, and done more in, in a Palpung style, um, uh, borrowing uh, these Chinese aesthetic elements. So just an introduction to an unusual form of Dorji Drolo. You can uh, press the like button, you can share, you can subscribe, and you can help support HAR by joining HAR on Patreon.